everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I am Nicole from my Pandora Charmed Life. Today I have a small little haul from the Autumn Collection that just launched. So, I only grabbed a few items because I am waiting for a promotion. There is a promo going on right now in the US, but it excludes the Autumn Collection. So, I've gotten gift cards from my awesome coworkers and my mom so far, because my birthday is tomorrow. So I was, I did splurge a little bit on full price items from the Autumn Collection. They really are my must haves of the season and ones that I don't want to risk them going out of stock. So we'll take a look at that. I'm also going to show you a couple of gifts I got for my birthday from, again, those same amazing coworkers and we'll go over what I've gotten so far on the 25% off sale. Stay tuned for my haul that features the new Autumn Collection of 2018. The first charm that I got was the Evil Queen's Black Magic. So I absolutely love the color black. I love how there's a faceted black stone in the center. This one reminds me of the Radiant Hearts charms and many of you know that those are one of my favorites. So I loved the spin on it, it's so pretty. And then, can you guys see the, um, let's see, the sword going through the heart detail on the side. So very awesome detail on the side of this bead and I just love that it's black might end up going in a work inspired bracelet I did buy it with a gift card that I got from work so that would make sense the next charm I got was the sweet pumpkin he's actually smaller than I thought he would be he is still a rather chunky charm but I was expecting it to be a lot bigger and he is so cute with his little swirly stem, heart-shaped eyes, little happy face, and then the pumpkin detail around the side comes to the bottom with the little core, and he's just really cute. And I'm gonna have to figure out if he'll fit on my Halloween theme or what I'll be doing with him. But this was the other must-have I needed on day one. And saving the best for last is none other than Bruno the Unicorn. Because I had to go to a different store. My concept store actually didn't receive Bruno. So I looked at Jared online because you can tell if your store is carrying it. And they were. So we headed straight over there and picked up two. One is for me and one is for Presley. He's got the shortest little unicorn horn um, and he's just a chunky little guy with the little hearts on his feet and the back is even really darling too you could see the detail of his mane and then his tail as well so these guys are so cute really really happy that I was able to get these on day one when my store didn't have it I kind of panicked actually I'm like no I know that he's so popular so I was a little nervous and he was worth not waiting for a promo. And that's it from the new line that I got. Now we will move on to the gifts that I got from my coworkers. Since I am their boss, they got me this Lady Boss dangle, which I think is perfect. I've actually wanted to get this once I saw that we had it. Again, my wish list is always like so big. So I was really happy that they got it for me and it actually makes it like that much more meaningful because it's weird if you call yourself a lady boss, right? So much better if you're being called that by somebody else. The back of that is just, um, just plain. So then the other charm they got me was this princess emoji. I already have the older princess one and I've wanted this one for a work bracelet. Uh, my other princess one represents Presley, but this one more reminds me of a queen, and I think it'll go good on my work bracelet, especially since it came from my people. And that's where I think this would go good with it as well. What do you think? 
I know you guys, my, my nails are terrible. I'll get to it. I've just been so excited to film all these things. Last but not least is what I have taken advantage of for the 25% off sale. Um, it does include the Disney that's already in existence. So not the new Disney that came out, but it did include what they already had. And I am working on building a Mickey Minnie only inspired bracelet. I'll actually have to do a Rue La La haul from all the great finds that I had on Rue La La because I think I'm pretty close to finishing that bracelet. So what I got was two clips. I got the, the Mickey clip and the mini clip. I actually already have these on my first um, Disney land trip inspired bracelet, but that bracelet's so meaningful to me. It was Presley's first trip to Disneyland and I don't wanna change that up. So that's that. And I love the Mickey hand and the Mickey glove. I actually needed a chunkier charm to complement the Mickey and Minnie in their car. So I thought this one would be good. So I'll eventually put this bracelet together. Again, I have some pieces that I just got from Rue La La that I'll, I'll do a separate haul on because I got some really good deals on some Disney on Rue La La. So thank you for hanging out with me to take a look at the purchases that I made on one day one of the new autumn collection hitting stores and the 25% off sale. I am taking a little bit more advantage of the 25% off sale, but I had to do that online because my store didn't have the right items. I have a special treat from my mom because her birthday is the day after mine. So happy birthday, mom. What have you purchased from the Autumn Collection or what is on your wish list? What did you think of the items that I got? I'm so in love with them. I cannot wait to design my bracelet with Bruno the Unicorn. Maybe I'll do a design with me and record it so you can see my thought process on how I put that bracelet together. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys next time.